Rising COVID cases has local hospitals enforcing new visitor restrictions. Well, now long-term care facilities are looking at doing the same, some struggling with COVID clusters. Chrissy Tomashiro has a story that's new at 9. The Life Care Center of Hilo is seeing another COVID cluster within the facility with 10 residents sick. One of them is hospitalized. The cluster began about two weeks ago when an unvaccinated associate tested positive. About 95% of the residents and 80% of the staff are vaccinated. For other long-term care facilities, the rising numbers are concerning. The positivity rate in, out in the community, it's, it's scaring us because now we look at everybody else as if everybody else is infected. You have to, right? According to the CDC, COVID case rates in Hawaii nursing homes have risen in July. That's causing Palolo Chinese Home to enforce extra precautions. Our visitors are very um, cognizant about coming in wearing a mask, and if they're not vaccinated, that they have to um, visit behind a shield. The facility also requires all unvaccinated staff to screen test once a week. Health officials say these measures are essential to keep the most vulnerable safe. There's still a small proportion of individuals who are fully vaccinated, and especially those who are older or frail or who have compromised systems, are still susceptible to getting the disease. Meanwhile, many of Hawaii hospitals continue to see a surge of COVID patients. Earlier this week, we had six patients hospitalized for COVID. Then when you wake up the next morning, we had 12. Hilo Medical Center says its emergency room looks like peak pandemic days. To mitigate those numbers, all visitors will be required to show proof of vaccination starting Monday. Limiting the amount of visitors is just in line with, with us also requiring our staff to become vaccinated when we have full FDA approval. So we really are trying to do our best to protect our staff patients and staff. For long-term care facilities, if the current positivity rate of 6.2 continues to rise, they may have to follow hospitals' lead on restrictions. It's 10 percent, but there is a line that gets drawn that if the community gets really widespread that we have to close down visitations. The Healthcare Association of Hawaii also says they're working with DOH and Haima to bring in more staff to support Hawaii's hospitals, nurses, and therapists. Chrissy Tomashiro, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.